Hello and welcome to a new video about valve constructions. This time we are talking about a special valve. We are talking about a valve which will, which will switch if a certain pressure is reached. Okay? Pressure switching valve. By switching valve depending on the pressure. I again have drawn the principle to show you. So from the outside it it's a little bit more spectacular, let's call it like before. So what we see here is some turning knob, rod. Yeah. This is simply to adjust the pressure when the valve is switching. Yeah. Here is a little tiny deoration hole. Yeah. And here at the bottom we have three holes. The left part is a 3-2 way valve, which will be switched if a certain pressure is reached at this input. Okay? How this is working inside? Let's cut it open. Cut it open. This is how it looks inside. Let's start here. Yeah? So here we have a spring. Yeah? This spring is loaded to a certain amount by adjustment of this screw here. Yeah. So we can adjust how much force is applied to this piston. Yeah. This piston is, is connected with such rods to this piston. Yeah. So this piston is pressing this piston here down. Yeah. Here we have the one connector. At this side we have the one connector. The one connector is connected to the right hand side and is also connected here. So here at this part we have pressure. Here we have pressure. Right now the pressure cannot go further than here because simply here this part is pressed against this seat and is sealed here. So we are at the bottom with this part. Now little tiny bit was open in the simulation. So here we are at the bottom. This here is going to this chamber and you see there is a membrane and this membrane will seal this chamber and well what is happening here if we here apply pressure yeah, then this piston will move book. Yeah. So the, the membrane is then turned in the other way. Yeah? If we apply, if we would have here pressure, yeah? then this is simply switching. One and two is connected now. You see, one and two, they are now connected. And if there is no pressure, like now, because right now this line here is open. Yeah? So here is here. This is. And here, this is also open. Ooh, <laughs> this is also open. So we have here, and this is the exhaust hole. So right now, we will be at the right hand side. Uh, so it will look like this. Uh, so this means one and two are separated, and two and three are connected. Uh, so we are in, in the rest position. The rest position is blocked. Uh, so one. The pressure of one simply is here, yeah, in this area, and also in this area, and in this area, but no further. Now, if we apply pressure to one, two here, to this one, two line, there is also a membrane here. Yeah, then we will apply force to this membrane. Okay? If we apply force to this membrane, this piston wants to go up. It is hold it, hold it back by, those, by this spring. Yeah? Once the force of the piston is high enough, yeah, so if the pressure here is raised uh, above a certain level, yeah, then the pressure is high enough and it will start to move. Okay? And here, with the help of this rod, you see, here, this will then be sealed yeah, by the piston and also this will be opened. Yeah. So the pressure from here, yeah, if we have it to full extent, 
it will simply look like this. Yeah? So the membrane is now pushing this completely up. Here, this has been lifted. Yeah? This has also been lifted, so pressure can pass here. Here, at this, here is sealed. Huh? So, here we apply now pressure, and this is switching. Book. Okay. So, once we have reached here a certain pressure, the big valve will switch. If we release the pressure at the 1-2 line again, this will go down, will be pressed down by this spring, yeah? so this will go down. This will close here above. Yeah? Here we will de-air, air, yeah? and this will again book, switch the valve back at this position. Yeah? That's it. Yeah? That's the function. That's the function of this valve. You see, it's working pretty straightforward, I would say. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Huh? Oops. Working pretty straightforward. So the symbol of this valve, how does it look like? Well, we do have all things we just seen. Yeah? So we have this 3-2-way valve, which will simply switch, be switched. Yeah? So this is usually in locked rest position. Yeah? And in switching position, we are in flow position. It's spring-loaded. And on the other hand, it's pneumatically operated with this one membrane. And it is operated by a valve, which will measure the pressure. <laughs> so there's also a deeration hole, this valve. Yeah. On one side it's spring-loaded, can be adjusted, we've seen. Yeah. So here look like this. Here, there, the counterpart is also pneumatically operated. This is the 1-2 line. And we have here the duration hole. And of course, we also get, on the other hand, we get pressure from the 1 line. There's a control line, internal control line, which takes pressure from the one line to switch this valve. Yeah? And to indicate that this whole valve is a combination, we usually draw a frame around it. Now it shall be clear that this is only one item, this is only one casing. So here is the three connector, here is the one connector, here is the two connector, and this is the one two connector. And everything else is internal. Okay. So this would be the symbol of exactly that valve. Pressure switching valve. Once here a certain pressure is reached, this will be switched. Next time. We're going to talk another special valve. We're talking about a time delay valve. So we're talking about a valve which will switch a valve depending on time. Okay? How this is working, we're going to be to see next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.